your team decide what problem to study? Um, being that we decided to choose tornadoes um, because a lot of, we live in Michigan and it's really the only thing that we have in the research. A lot of other natural disasters and we kind of all decided tornadoes would be easier for that location. And that's a 
we start at the, yeah, we don't have our prayers in the last months. Mm -hmm. And then we researched more and we found, found, found out more about Tornado Alley and the death rates. And once finding that out, we thought, well, not a whole lot of tornadoes happen here, but they happen a lot. They like last week, we, we, it, they, um, there was, last Sunday, there were 70 tornadoes that touched down um, in Michigan. 70? Yeah. Wow. Yep. America? Oh, in America? Yeah. <laughs> it was a big storm. Yeah. yeah. It was a big storm, for sure. We had it all. We first had our idea, which we went to trailer parks and almost turned the home uh -huh. away. And then we had we were talking about what we do in our school and stuff, well, what they do in their school, and how they put their head down. We're like, well, that's not really safe. So then we changed our there's actually a video on YouTube of this school um, where it, it shows their tornado drill. And then there was another video of this tornado that went right through the school. Um, and then we thought, well, what if there were a bunch of kids in there? They would all be dead because there were just pieces flying everywhere. And so, you know, the school was kind of scary. I like the safe room idea. It's really good. Have you shared this presentation with other people? We did share it. Um, there's a page in our project notebook. What we shared with, we shared it on Facebook. Um, we shared it on YouTube. We're hoping that it will go viral. Um, we shared it with our friends and family, and we shared it with. I with have enrolled the school. I shared it with my friends who were friends of mine in school. We shared it with our job school. That's great. And uh, I shared it with our grade twelve school building class. Very cool. I really enjoyed the pop up. <laughs> idea, you know, yeah. where you would crouch down and then each speaker would pop up. Yeah, that was very that effective, was very nice. Yep. Really good. What resources did you use to do your reading? We have, um, we, some of our sources were from the internet. Um, okay. We have a list of sources in there. Also, um, at my, uh, in, at school, I'm learning um, in one of my classes about tornadoes, so we took a lot of information from my school up there. Did you find out if there's any schools that have these? There are a couple, and since that uh, tornado that went through the school last year, there have been a lot of, they were actually, they went, they took signatures and they went to the state and they asked for the money to put in all of them and they turned it down. Mm -hmm. And so other schools are trying to get the money, but typically they think they really have to step, try to put them in their own school on their own. How do you, do you think you could lower the costs of these rooms? Cost of the rooms themselves can't really be lowered much because you want them to be safe. Right. And um, pay for. But yeah, we feel that like saving students' lives is more important than playing a football game or any concert or something. I know though there there could be some some small solutions that would work fine, but a cement building would last longer and it it would last a hundred years. Because it's meant rather than just having like a little room for yeah. Do you envision the safe room in a school as being just completely isolated by itself, or would it be a room that you use for other purposes during the year? About that too. I mean, if you can use it, you can use it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. but it would be nice if you could use it, but it'd be always used. Nothing would uh -huh. keep an eye on it. Make sure it's you know still up to conditions that oh, that there's no leaks or anything. Right. Yeah, we also decided that it probably should run like near the middle of the school in the mm -hmm. big square. Because if you have students over here, but your safe room is over here, right. you have to go all the way up and around. So it's Sounds like you've thought it through or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So a large school would have to have multiple. Yes. Yeah. 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 Depending on the size of and how many how students many they have. Yeah. Did you see right. any designs, or did you talk to an engineer? Um, no, we didn't talk to any engineers. Okay. There are our engineers. Oh, yeah, our coach is an engineer, so. Okay, so, so you did. Yeah. Like, yeah. You have an engineer. And we saw some pictures in the engineer report. Of what they look like. <laughs> Please research that. Thank you. Any other questions? How would you get people to remember what FLO stands for? Pass it all. Yes. <laughs> Also during their like tornado practices or yeah. that's our friend. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's that's good. Um, 
Have, have you, as a result of people seeing your presentation, have you made any changes to it? Did people make any suggestions? Well, as we went over, we cursed and over and over, we ourselves saw some problems. You make minor changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you stop giving your headphone instructions? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it was a very good presentation, and I really liked how you, how you, the pop-up thing was very quite memorable. Very organized. Yep, very organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you did a good job. Very good. Pieces. Oh, thank you. I hope you guys, it flowed very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Nothing like being proud to be done. done. <laughs>